Good morning, everyone. It is another magical day at Walt Disney World. Family and I got a lot of sleep last night, and now we are set for another magical day. Our plan today is to go to Animal Kingdom Lodge first thing in the morning and experience some of that early morning, seeing some of the animals. It's gonna be really cool. And if you haven't noticed, you see the family Disney shirts. We all match with these. And on the shoulder, you can see, I love my family and actually has our names. Oh, can you see my, I don't know if you can see my name. It says Michael right there, you see that? I just can't get enough of that sunrise right there. Look at that. Now when I left the room, my dad and brother were still asleep. So hopefully they are awake now. So as you can imagine, I am up first and I'm actually going on some tea and coffee runs for family members. Okay, our room 5526 five, is right there. The refill station, right there. I mean, could not be more convenient. Could not be more convenient. Ready for the day? Yeah. Let's do it. We have never actually really done a vacation like this where we're really getting up kind of later. It's like 8.45, we're not rushing off to the parks. We're just going to Animal Kingdom Lodge Kidani Village. We're going to go enjoy ourselves. We're gonna have a magical day today, but it's very relaxing. Now we're at the Aruba Bus Depot, we're waiting for the Animal Kingdom Bus to take us to Animal Kingdom, and then we're gonna transfer to go to Animal Kingdom Lodge Kidani Village. It looks like a bridge to me, it's kind of a traffic bridge, but we still don't know for sure. Gotta be honest with you here, I am not used to taking it this slow. Ah, so good to be home at Kadani Village. We're just sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the view here at Kadani Village. You can see everyone is enjoying, relaxing here at Kadani Village, looking out. Great way to start the day. You guys having a good time? Fantastic time. Look, something says, are those zebras over there? Resort refillable mug, essential when resort hopping. Now we've been sitting here relaxing for a good 30, 45 minutes, just everyone just enjoying the view. David, have we ever experienced Disney like this before? No. No? No, we have not. Cool. So you're, it's very nice. You're happy that it's a nice and relaxing pace? It's lovely. Are you enjoying this view? Yes. Fantastic. Gonna be on that in two days. After relaxing at Kidani for a little while, now we are waiting for the inter shuttle to come take us to Jumbo House. And I mean, there are details that I'm starting to take in because I'm just relaxing here with family that I didn't even see before. So the building looks like it's made of mud, even though we know it's not. This looks like it's made of like wicker, even though we know, well, actually it might be. But there are a lot of little details all around that you wouldn't otherwise see. The other way. There you go. Shout out to Jumbo House. Shout out Thank you. The shuttle is different than we saw last time. Yes, this is our shuttle between Jumbo House and Kidani Village. Yeah, yeah. I love this new bus style compared to the old one. This is great. I think I may have started something with the uh, drums right there. You can see the giraffes right out there. After a truly relaxing and wonderful experience here at Jumbo House and at Kidani Village, we're gonna head over to Disney Springs and experience some of the magic there. Now, some of my family has not even seen the new Disney Springs, so it's gonna be a lot of fun for sure. This is real animal food. Really? Yeah. This is real. There's not a problem here. Unless you look at the giraffe, though. There you go. He's oh, got it, he's yeah. got it. Good job, David. You might be wondering, Michael, I can see a change in your vlogging style. Well, I'm doing a lot of, uh, there's a lot of other things involved in family vacations. Now we're just waiting for the bus to take us to Disney Springs here at Jumbo House. The last remnants of Disney Quest are gone. It will be missed. I think everyone wants to go to Morimoto Asia counter service, not the table service, because we have a lot of other things to do. We're hungry, so we're probably gonna go to the counter service. It should be delicious. David, Morimoto Asia. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Okay, we're gonna be trying several different items. We're trying the kalbi bao, the chicken teriyaki bao, and the pork bao, which are all right here. So you can see one of each are right here, which would be really cool. Then we're gonna try the uh, Tor Tokioki, which is the octopus kind of uh, fritters right there. So right there, so we're gonna try all three of those and that one we're gonna split them up and try them all together it's gonna be great okay I'm gonna try them for you in just a second but first we've got this chicken bow here we have the pork bow right there this is the toyuyaki which is the uh, I think it's the octopus kind of uh, fritters there and we've also got the beef bow right there all right I am giving the uh, chicken bow a try right now bon appetit so besides the bone in the middle tastes good now I'm trying the uh, toy toyoki not my favorite, a little bit slimy to me. Pork itself, to me it's a little bit too tough. 
but overall it's it's okay. Again, not on the highest of my priority list. After giving several of the items here a try at the Morimoto Asia takeout area, I have to say it's only okay. I wouldn't prioritize this one at all at Disney Springs. Not my favorite. Now that being said, I haven't tried the table service yet. That might be something different that I want to try in the future. The Morimoto Asia for this trip, I think turned out less than desirable. No one really loved anything they had. It was, it was interesting or it was okay, but it wasn't amazing. That's just how we felt about it. It's the honest truth. I think next time I'll give it a try maybe for the table service, maybe on one of our future adventures, and just give it another try. Just give it another chance, see if it turns out a little bit better next time. One item I would definitely avoid is the Toyoki. I was not a fan of that at all. To give you a less than graphic description, it felt it was like a fruit gusher with octopus. It was disgusting. It was not good. That was the item to avoid. Pork roll, the meat was definitely a little bit too firm on that one. Yes. Um, and I was not a fan of the octopus uh, dish. The toyoki. Tap tapoyaki was not something that I would repeat. No. The bridge is absolutely beautiful. I want to show the family. I just motivated them to come and walk this bridge with me. It's a beautiful way to see Disney Springs. Welcome back to Disney Springs. Dad, I know you're a fan of Giardelli, yes. but I think I may have found your new favorite spot yes. at Disney Springs. Ready? Yes, ready. Sprinkles. Really? Yeah. You know, special recipes. You got a cookies and cream type cup. All right. I, I know, see? Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Let's, yeah. get, let's take a look inside. And they also have a Sprinkles ATM. <laughs> right there, look, it's right there, Sprinkles ATM. The last one I tried was like lemon blueberry. It was delicious. I just pointed out, they put a cupcake at the bottom of your milkshake there. Two scoops plus one cupcake. <laughs> So my grandmother and I are gonna split salty caramel. I'm still waiting to hear what Michelle, David, and mom and dad are gonna split. This is the salted caramel uh, cupcake right here. Bon appetit. Spectacular. This is the vanilla milk chocolate. Uh, mm. May I try a quarter of yours? That one is super good. And here is the pumpkin. That's delicious. My favorite was the salted caramel cupcake. Really, I'm so glad. It was so, uh, that was actually my personal favorite as well. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay, so pumpkin is really good. Yeah. Overall, a fantastic snack here at Sprinkles. I love the salted caramel the best. They were all delicious. I keep seeing these posters for Run Disney and the, uh, the Marvel Marathon. I've definitely got to do one in the future. And as you can see, there are already members of the family who are intrigued by some of the uh, shops around here. There's the polite pig. I'm gonna try it on a future adventure. It is November 1st, 2017. Christmas merchandise. It's a whole Christmas section. I have no idea how long it's been here, but it's November 1st and it is literally all here. Okay, it looks like family has been drawn in by the Christmas section. Looking for rose tumblers, look no further than Disney Springs. I remember the days where these were the hottest items at Walt Disney World. Not anymore. Look at these Haunted Mansion magnets here. That's so cool. Those who play Disney's emoji, you got these really cool emojis right here. I like the, I like the alien here. Ooh. It looks good on you, David. It looks good. Yeah, what's up? What is this? She's got one too. You guys think alike. They thought they thought alike. They got the same four. It's a movie we haven't. It's not out yet. It hasn't come out yet. Oh, I haven't seen the one before it either. We, we have never seen these before in a Star Wars movie. Oh. See, it, okay, I'm not. I'm not the only one who feels that way. What? It's weird when you see a thing before it comes out in the theater. Yeah, that is weird. See, I'm not the only one. See, it helps to have matching shirts because I can see Mom's name on the back of her shirt all the way over there. Here's Mom trying on a simple black hat. So, for when you want something uh, simple. I saw it. There you go. Looks good. Look at these baseballs that David's finding. This one is really cool. You see that pirate one right there? That is just too cool. Oh, got it. All right, Dave, R2-D2 is coming your way. There you go. All right, David, we are leaving this world of Disney now, and we are headed where? We're heading to Fort Wilderness and the Hoopty Doo Review. It's gonna be fun. Are you excited for the oh, Hoopty Doo yes. Review? I absolutely, you're gonna love this. I, I haven't been since I was really small. I was, I was young when you brought me. Yep. Really small. So now it's my turn to bring David and Dad to Hoopty Doo. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Really cool pin, right there. First official trip to Disney Springs. It was short, but it was it was quick. What did you think? A lot of nice things to do. Definitely miss having the uh, Disney Quest here. I think that was a big mistake to get rid of, but uh, there are not lots of nice things. Lots of nice new things to see here as well. 
right. If you can see all the golf carts behind me all there, a lot of them are decorated from Halloween yesterday. I saw someone posted in uh, My Disney Family, the Facebook group, a video of a lot of different golf carts decorated for Halloween. Really cool what they do here. Okay, things that I have now learned now that I'm back at Fort Wilderness. When you get off of that bus depot, you have to get on another internal bus going to Pioneer Hall, not this uh, station here which is the reception outpost. So that's where we're headed. Hopefully, well, we'll have, it's 310 now, so we have lots of time to get there. Reservations at 4 p.m. There's the Pioneer Hall bus. Greatly appreciated. We made it. Here are some of the cabins for uh, Fort Wilderness all around. We're seeing them on both sides. So there's area for cabins, there's area for RVs, and there's areas for uh, tenting, camping. I have been camping in the past. I am an Eagle Scout, as you know. But when it comes to Disney, I'm gonna stay in a nice resort. Thank you very much. I have no idea where I'm going. We're, we're following friendly cast members as we walk along here. Guys, we made it! Pioneer Hall! All right! All right. Okay, I figured out what happened. Our seats are assigned already, so all I have to do is go to this check-in barrel right here, get your little ticket stub knowing that you've checked in and you've paid in advance, and then you have your seat already set to go and you're you're ready. So we already took pictures with PhotoPass, and at 4 p.m. on the button, that's when our show is, we'll be let in, so we'll be set to go. Hi, Christy, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Great, thank you. You're on the camera, you're on it! Thank you very much, appreciate it. Looking at, we're admiring the uh, waves of Disney, but would you like one? Good, yeah. You want, and great pleasure to see you. Thanks oh, for your help right today. You guys enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. You too. I'm having a hard time figuring out how to vlog and eat, so we'll catch moments as they happen. The menu includes this cornbread, that salad, chi uh, crispy fried chicken, seasonal vegetables, cowboy beans, smoked barbecue pork ribs, mashed potatoes, and strawberry shortcake. Gotta leave room. I would have more of that amazing cornbread, and I'm leaving room. So I was just explaining to David how we have category one seats. So we're actually second row. We got our table, one table, the stage. So we are right in the front here. Now there are three categories. Category one is this front area and maybe a little bit in the middle. Category two is kind of the outside, a little bit further in the back. And then category three is right on top up there. At least that's my understanding of the three categories. You can find it all on Disney's website under the Hoop You Do review. Okay, we have that initial show, and now we've got chicken and ribs, and I think the vegetables and country beans are coming as well. There you go, so that everyone in this audience can watch you as you change colors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Robert, you know what? You are a real good tutor. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him tooting all the way over there, and I thought he was sure did. But I have a tricky tooth for you. Are you ready, sir? Ready. All right, Robert, finish this. Here we go. Turn Two, two, two. Oh! 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 Robert's on my side. <laughs> <laughs> now no more reaction. <laughs> 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 oh, Strawberry shortcake so far is my personal favorite part of the whole thing. David, David agrees. Dad agrees. Strawberry shortcake is the part that just makes it. That's it. My mom got to explain that. It was unique. It's a unique show. I liked it. I thought it was fun. I don't know how David and Dad liked it too much. Dad was picked on a, a little a few times. It's pretty funny. He's got a big lipstick stain on his forehead. That was hilarious. I left my backpack under the table. Please be there. Please be there. I'm sure it's still there. I'm sure it's still there. Sorry. Thank you again for your help tonight. <laughs> And David's mug is there too. Glad I got that backpack that's got some stuff in it and I need. All right, David, true and honest thoughts about Hoop Dee Doo Review. I like Makumoto better. <laughs> Morimoto? You like yeah. Morimoto? So you, what, this was not your favorite? Yeah, it was not my favorite. Not your favorite, okay. It was just a little bit too much for you? I'm fairly loud. I'm very loud. Very involved. Yes. Excessive. Excessive. Okay. okay. All right, well, there's something for everybody at Disney. Choice, yes. that's, that's the best part about it. Yeah, thank you. All right, Dad. Full and honest review. Yes. Your thoughts. It doesn't have. You know, it doesn't have to be your favorite. Yes. Everybody's got their favorites. Yes. What do you think about the Hoop to Do review? Uh, I would not recommend it for anyone over the age of eighty. Okay. All right. So it wasn't your favorite. There's something for everyone, and that's okay. I personally thought it was. There were fun parts of it, but it was really loud, and you know, you got to be in that singing, dancing mood to really uh, be able to appreciate all the aspects of it. 
David hasn't been here in so long, he has not seen the finished Bay Lake Tower. That is how long it's been for David. David, what do you think? Nice. Pretty cool. We've got a beautiful night to be out here. It's maybe 68 degrees. You can do a sweatshirt, jacket, or nothing, depending on you know what temperature you like it. But wow, we have got a great, great night for this. Dad apparently is telling me that the very best soft serve you can get is the snack at the Contempo Cafe. There's a snack option for soft serve ice cream. Look for that. It's it's super, super good, isn't Don't it? Don't forget the caramel. Caramel on top, caramel. We've been doing so much, it's hard to imagine that we haven't been into the parks. It's really hard to imagine. But this is really a relaxing way to have a Disney vacation. Okay, we're gonna leave David here, just make a quick business phone call, because you know some people do have to work a little bit more during the day. That's understandable, but he'll meet us again later when we're going to the Polynesian right now to meet up with the girls. We're just talking about it. Hoop-de-doo might not be for everyone, and that's understandable, but I know a lot of friends who do love it, and that's one of the great things about Disney World. There's something for everyone. I can show you the world on this wonderful monorail. So do I miss the parks? Not even really that much. I went two months ago, so a lot of great memories, and I've got a future trip coming up at the end of the year. So there's a lot to look forward to. This gives me a unique opportunity to spend time with family and experience things outside of the parks. I couldn't be happier. We're gonna be on one of those in a few days, cruise ship. Okay. Michelle said she's looking for you guys. Michelle? Michelle is, okay. Thank you. See, you got the matching shirts. You know everybody, okay. Oh, it does look good. Athena, thank you for all you do for us here at the Polynesian Village Resort. Everything you serve at Captain Cook's, delicious. Pan, Asian noodles, and vegetables served with chicken. Bon appetit. Mmm. I like it. That's really good. So we're eating inside Captain Cook's. I had to come outside and take a look. They're playing, I think, on the Xbox or the Wii. They're playing Just Dance right out here on the uh, on the lawn. Wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put my food down. We're gonna play, we're gonna play. I'm not really a dancer, Michelle. Michelle and I both agree. We need, a, we need another song for the last one. Another song. We another song. Another long for the, another song for the last one. I think we can work with it. I wonder what is love. I think that was the last song. They are now doing Lilo and Stitch. Michelle, was that fun? They didn't play single ladies. They didn't say single ladies or they didn't play What Is Love. That's okay, we'll catch them next time, but that was a lot of fun. The single lady wanted single ladies, but you know what? Okay, after a wonderful dinner here at Captain Cook's, my grandmother, mama, and myself would all love a pineapple dole. My brother should be joining us again in just a few minutes, so we'll see if he wants one too. But we can't wait. We've got to get one. Let's go get a Dole Whip. Yay! Yay! Dole Whip time! Here's my pineapple Dole Whip. Looks delicious. Let's dig in. Just as delicious as ever. Take a look over my left shoulder. It's about 8.30 at night. We're waiting for the water pageant to come by in front of the beach here at the Polynesian Village Resort. You can also see a little bit of a glow back there of Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party. Look at it right out there. I love the turtle, right over there, the turtle. There's the octopus. God bless America. I love the salute to America. What a way to end the night. It really brought back great memories for the whole family. We all loved it. What'd you guys think? Was this a fun day? Yeah. Woo! It was 
awesome. it was fantastic. And one day we'll do the parties together. Sounds great. One day we're gonna do it together. It'll be fun. Go up in the balloon. Yes, we also have to do characters in flight together. Magical day. Magical day. Magical day. All the way to the very end. Great pictures. There were pictures in front of the Magic Kingdom. We didn't go into the Magic Kingdom. We just took a few pictures in front. It was a lot of fun. Today was a truly magical day. Even though we didn't go into the Disney parks, we all had a wonderful time. Wouldn't have changed a thing. Thank you so much for being a part of today's adventure. Until next time, have a magical day.